Hello out there YouTube land, Lumps Clown here, and tonight we are going to go for it. We're going to go and knock out the final scenario, Helen Maxwell, for Clock Tower, PlayStation 1. Covered quite a bit of ground in the, uh, I guess you could call it the intermission, and then onwards to scenario 2. I had an interview with Gotts, didn't quite believe the whole story with the whole Scissor Man thing. As you can understand, he's just one of those hard-ass type guys. But after that, Helen becomes hell-bent on trying to find every possible clue about Scissor Man. So at this point, she goes through the map. Uh, we go through all the places, not finding anything. Eventually, we arrive back at the university with Beth, uh, who informed... Uh, we ask her about the statue, uh, the demon statue from the first one, uh, Super Famicom Clock Tower, the first murders. And she said that Professor Barton either gave it to Rick or Professor Sullivan down at the Metropolitan Library. So at that point we got some new info. We went back to the police station, talked with Gotts, uh, tried to ask him about Rick. He did offer to go down there and see if Rick had the statue. And of course we said no, because we sent the statue over to Professor Sullivan in the prologue, if you recall. At that point we head out to the library. Professor Sullivan finally arrives back at the library. And we talk with him. We get the. Um, he tells us he has the statue. And he also gives us a reading room key where Helen discovers a clue about Scissor Man, uh, which helps lead into this final scenario. And then at that point, Scissor Man attacks. And he even goes so far as to use Edward's voice Helen? in order to lure Helen into a trap. Uh, eventually, we're able to get through the library, get the statue from the collection room, and then we ended up finding Edward inside that library. He was in there earlier before Scissor Man attacked. Uh, found him hiding in an office. Uh, we went ahead and hit him under the desk in the reading room. Uh, tried to get him out through the vent. Fortunately, the pliers did not work, so we had to go back to that office that we found him in, and there's a screwdriver in one of those, uh, dr on those drawers. So then we went back in the reading room, got him out, and then we were able to finally escape the scenario. Because then once he was out, it was just a matter of getting Helen out. So this is the final scenario for Helen Maxwell. We did satisfy the conditions of finding the statue. Uh, if you do not find the statue, if I would have said yes to Gotts back at that interview, he would have went to Rick's house and not found it. That would get us our worst ending. But let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. This is going to be technically part four. Helen Maxwell, final scenario. Let's get this shit rolling. Shit. How many people does Scissorman want to kill? All right, Teach, that's enough questioning. You can go on home now. All right, so this is the beginning of the final scenario. We were able to get that statue. I uh, just got done getting interviewed with Gotts. Let's go ahead and see what else he's got to say. Gotts, I've learned something interesting about Scissor Man. You've got something? Yes, I know where the Barrow's Castle is. The Barrow's Castle? Yes, it's where the Barrows family used to live before they immigrated here. Go on. I looked further and found a historical account saying that a monster was born in the castle. They must have somehow killed Scissorman back then. Good point. So, I am planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous. As long as he is alive, we aren't safe anywhere. All right, but one thing. What's that? I'm going with you, okay? Gots. That was a pretty tense conversation. Helen just put her foot down. All right, so as you can see, we do have a new point on the map here. It's Rick's house. Unfortunately, we can't go there. All it says is Rick's house. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and just go from left to right once again. Oslo Weekly Newspaper Company. I think Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Well, I thought it'd be named, but whatever. Oslo Weekly Newspaper. First time Helen's ever seen it. Excuse me, Miss Maxwell. You have good timing. How so? Well, we've learned a bit of information. That you are going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. 
So, it was a pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. Get a brain, lady shit. How about it? May we join you? I don't mind, but I don't know if Gots will like it. Hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. <laughs> All right. See you at the airport first thing in the morning. We'll be there. See you in the morning. I was pretty cheery about getting yelled at. I don't know if I'd be able to put up with that shit for too long myself. That's just me. Norway International Hotel. Edward seems to have come back safely. Well, good. We busted our ass to get him out of there. Just dodge scissor man. All right, let's go in. Edward, thank heaven you're all right. Yes, thank you, Miss Maxwell. Thank you very much, Miss Maxwell. By the way, we are thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere that there might be danger. Oh, I see. We are going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we are going to a castle called the Barrow's Castle. We are hoping to find some clues about Scissorman. May I go too? Edward, what are you saying? He will probably kill me too if I stay here. I want to go along and help. Edward, that is... Please, Kay? Well, all right then. Please look after him, Miss Maxwell. Hmm. Well, all right. We'll be the first flight tomorrow morning. Well, that was kind of awkward. Just did a complete fucking 180 on us. Oh, sure, I'll take the advice of a fucking kid. Why not? Municipal Library. I wonder if Sullivan's head's still around. That'd be pretty nasty. The general public still should not be allowed to enter. Ah, uh, maybe that means the crime scene's not clean. Hell yeah. Professor Barton? Harris? We've just been to the scene of the murder. What a terrible thing to have happened. Well, there was a couple in there. Yes, but one good thing came out of it. I now know where the Burroughs used to live in England before immigrating here. I suppose that is where his home is. Yes, and I think... I'll find some clues about him there. All right. So what are you going to do now? I would like to go to England tomorrow. May I? Hmm. All right, then. But our research staff will go with you. We may discover some material that will be important in the future. I suppose that'll be okay. Very well, then. I will go get ready. Just can't get over his ascot. That is just... It's totally him. I wonder if it's got dollar bill signs on it. <laughs> University Research Building. Helen, are you all right? Yes, I was able to get the statue. And I found a clue. Right, the inspector told me about going to the Barrow's Castle. Suddenly, we've got ten people going to England. Criminy, this is supposed to be serious business. I've contacted the police in England, and I've also arranged a rental car from the airport. Thank you, Gots. We're coming to get you, Scissorman. This time, you'll be doing the running. We'll, we'll see about that. He's still got those big-ass scissors. All right, we're at the Oslo airport, headed out to England. The sun is going down. It will be dangerous to move about in the dark. Let's camp here. Strange. Where is Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harrison Edward? 
Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no. Jennifer is missing too. They can't be missing. The castle! Hurry! Oh fuck. Oh damn, there it is. Shit's about to get real. Last scenario, Scissor Man. Oh damn. I am actually trembling. What's wrong? Teach. Everyone's waiting. Oh, yes. Looks like someone's fucking pulling guts inside. Oh, what happened? Oh fuck, the floor caved in, guts got pulled in by a mysterious force. Ah oh, shit. There's a gaping hole and no way to get across. I guess we're stuck. Let's go in here. This is... Alright, so for this scenario, I am going to be kind of blasting through the castle here, not clicking on every click point, uh, because if you take a long time, then your number of survivors, people you'll find alive, will actually reduce. Uh, let's go ahead and check this place out, though, nonetheless. Uh, this looks interesting. Let's see what's on this table. Oh, shit. A mouse! Whew. There is a mouse hole in the wall behind the table. There is something in the mouse hole. Alright, so we click on it. Click on it one more time. There is a key in the mouse hole. You now have the library key. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Nothing really else in here I want to click on, so let's go ahead and move along. Alright, let's just on this wall here. I'd totally live in a place like this. It's fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Be a bitch to keep warm and cold, though. Not very seasonally friendly, if you ask me. Let's see what's on this table. There is something on the table. It's a key. You now have the mansion key. Alright, we're going to be using that shortly. Alright, move along. Still haven't found any survivors yet. Now, if you don't, if you take your time and you look around, uh, you're gonna find them, <laughs> but they're gonna be dead. That's the problem. They'll die in some really crazy, weird ways. Hopefully, someday I'll make a montage of the crazy ways you can die in this game, because that in itself is actually pretty badass. Oh shit! There's someone right here. Beth, Looks like Beth. Are you all right? Helen, everyone's lost. Hang in there, Beth. I want to look around some more. Are we going to still wander around here? The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. I've got to find it. Beth, you should stay here. You've got to be joking! I'm not going to leave left alone again. I'm going with you. Oh, this bitch is delirious. Let's see if we can ben, talk her down a listen. little bit. Scissor Man does not care how many people there are. We have a better chance of being rescued if we split up. I've got to find a way to kill Scissor Man. Wait here. All right, I will. But you'll come back, won't you? We can only hope, lady. All right, so at least she's gonna stay still. I wouldn't want to drag her fucking sorry ass to this scary place. Hell no. Just slow me down. 
Okay, so let's see what's down this hallway here. And this place is chock full of hiding and uh, points and evasion points as well. If you're, if since your man is after you with Zombus music in tow, just keep clicking on everything. You're, you will find something. There's like a couple in here even too, if I remember correctly. <sighs> Harris, asswipe. Harris, don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? No. Oh well, it's a good-looking place anyway, quite relaxing. What are you saying? Scissorman is lurking around here somewhere. It's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. Because... He is after you. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. Hmm, fireplace key. Opens. Yeah, I wonder too. You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. Oh, Dick, why don't you go and find a fucking way? Alright, let's see if we can talk some sense to that guy. Everyone seems a little fucking wired up. Oh, what's this? A square board has been fit into the floor. Alright, let's see if there's anything on the shelves here. There seems to be a switch at the back of the shelf. Push the damn thing. Oh, shit. Alright, let's go in. I wonder what's down here. Hopefully nothing too crazy. It's cramped in here. I don't like it. I'm out. Shit. What was that sound? Uh, Tim. Okay. Oh, Ms. Maxwell? Is everyone all right? I don't know. I'm still looking for them. I wonder if Nolan's still alive. And she's just awesome at showing empathy. Let's talk to him some more. Ms. Waxwell, I'm going to hide here for a while. Yeah, you go ahead and do that, man. I don't want to have to worry about your ass. It's not like anyone else is strapped, but I'm going out there trying to put a few holes in this fuck bag. Just me. I just do not like being confined in these rooms. It just really bugs me. Not like there's many open spaces in this game either. I think the worst had to have been the library so far. This place is pretty big. Alright, let's go in here real quick. Alright, looks like little servants' quarters. Okay. A book is on the bed. Well, get it. The cover of this book, it's made of copper. You now have the copper book. All right, cool. Let's see if there's anything in this desk. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Get off. Looks like a fucking hand. All right, oh. There, a cliff point. Die. Yeah. This thing looks all burnt and mangled. What the fuck? Alright, let's see if there's anything in there. No, the desk, dumbass. Tattered note. A spell to exercise the devil children is concealed in the fireplace. Quentin borrows. Exercise the devil children? That's it. Alright, cool. So there was that fireplace back up in that master bedroom. Let's go ahead and take a peek at it. See if we can get through here without running into Cinder Man's sorry ass. Alright, go, go, go. 
Run, damn it. You'll rarely walk in this game. It's much more efficient to run, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to run. They did improve on that greatly in Clock Tower 2, might I add. Clock Tower 2 in the US, I should say. This technically is Clock Tower 2 in Japan. Struggle Within or Ghost Head uh, were the names of it. Alright, let's look in this fucking fireplace. Oh no, the batteries are dead. How fucking convenient. Been carrying it for two scenarios and the batteries are dead. You didn't bother to check it out before you trekked all the way out here? Think there's electricity up in this place? <laughs> Doubt it. Alright, let's go back where we came from. seen anybody else. I'm kind of getting nervous here. You have used the key to the Burroughs Mansion. Alright, that big ass gate is lifted. And there's a door here. Let's see what it's all about. Wow. Big fucking stone sarcophagus. <gasps> Nolan, oh, what shit. happened? Oh wow, he's alive. Good. Ow, ow, ow. Are you alright? Damn. Somebody attacked me from behind. My head is censored damn. What about Jennifer? Have you found her? No, not yet. That's okay. I'll help you look. We'll find her. Well, I don't see you getting out of that casket, man. What's this? A mini tape recorder on the floor. Probably Nolan's. There should be batteries in here. If only they are the right size. You now have batteries. Oh, good. They'll fit in the flashlight. Awesome. Thanks for the lift, fuckface. What's in here? There's a cloth sack inside. What's this? It's really heavy. It's lead balls about the size of a baseball. You know I have the lead balls. Now we got fucking balls of lead. Yeah. Not what I look for in a lady, but hey, each his own. Alright, so now that we got some fucking batteries in our flashlight, let's move along here. Oh shit. Oh fuck, where am I gonna go? Good. Okay, he's behind me. Run, 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 bitch, run! There's some quick points in here. Oh shit, there it is. Nice hat, fucker. <laughs> Shit. Alright, so, back to what we were doing before we were rudely interrupted. As I mentioned, there are a ton of evasion points in here. Down this hallway is a door that leads to nowhere, uh, which is also another good place to evade Scissor Man, but it comes with a cost of energy, so you'll go down to orange and eventually red every time you use it. Alright, flashlight. Let's move this thing along. This place just gives me the willies. Guess it'd be better if we knew Scissor Man wasn't up in it. There is a note stuck inside. It's in Latin. Words to open the door. N ha e sh. Words to open the door. Maybe these words can be used to exercise Scissor Man. You now have door spell. Alright, cool. 
Where is the fucking door, though? That's the big question. A lot of doors in here, but I don't think they go to hell. In a literal sense. Okay. Oh, wrong way. I want to click on this one here. See what's going on down this hallway now that it's open. If you do try to go in there without the mansion key, it won't work. There's a gate in front of it. It opened. All right, that was the library key we used just uh, now. All right, got a comfy fire going on in here. Let's see what's on this desk. There are many books on philosophy. There are some words carved into the desktop. Take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. Something on that bookshelf. Let's look at it. A letterbox is on the shelf. I wonder if there's something inside. Yeah. Alright, use this ladder. Use your head. You do have a college degree. A small wooden box is inside the letterbox. Strange. It sounds like something is in this box, but there is no way to open it. There is a rattling sound, but there is no way to take the object out. You now have the wooden box. Well, since it's wooden, we know the damn thing burns. Maybe that fire back here will be the answer. Of course, I could burn away the small outer box. The wooden box burns away. There is something inside. A key was inside the small box. You now have the cosmetic key. Alright, cool. I don't know how a little tiny box that would put out a big ass fire like that. That log look huge. But hey, it's a game. Let's see what this shit is. There are scratch marks on the floor made by something heavy being dragged across it. Ooh, okay. Maybe it was this. Throw a book on here. There's an empty spot. Good, good. Dry path choosing among the three. Okay, so you don't want to just jump down there and see which one. You just don't know what the hell's down there. So let's try these lead balls out. I wonder how far down it goes. I should probably test it. You now drop the lead ball down the shaft. It doesn't seem deep, though. Alright, so I don't know what the other ones sound like. Let's try them out. wonder how far down it goes. I should probably test it. You now have dropped a lead ball down the shaft. There seems to be water at the bottom. Well, that's definitely not dry. This one sounded dry. As long as anyone drops a lead ball down my shaft, I'm going to be perfectly fine. Just don't go there with me. A deep shaft. There's a ladder going down. Well, get your ass down there. Claustrophobic right now. You have no idea. If you can only see inside my brain, it is screaming. Get me the fuck out of here. The hell, let's go. So, this is where it leads to. Gots? That looks like Gots. Let's see what he's got to say. Yo, T. Oh, he's alive. Okay. Oh, you're alive. Good. Hey, what do you mean by that? Where I think we offended him. Let's keep talking. Aren't they with you? Scissor Man attacked us and we all scattered. Oh, I see. What do we do now, Teach? Right, still talk to him. We've got to keep looking. There has to be a way to kill Scissor Man here somewhere.
That's why he's trying so hard to get in our way. Yeah. Then take this with you. It might be useful. Oh shit, we're strapped up now. A pistol? What about you? It's okay. I've got another. Can you use it? Yes. I've had some training. That means you're an amateur. Why, thanks. But anyway, this will be real practice. Got. Huh. Thank you. Mm. What was that? Just what you thought you saw. Ghosts. Probably the ghosts of all the kids killed here. How terrible. That's a lot of damn bones. After Scissor Man, I ain't scared of no ghosts. Lifted right from Ghostbusters, it's beautiful. Alright, so. At least we know Gots is alive. He was nice enough to give us a gun, too. That's the shit. Put some fucking holes up in Scissor Man's anus. Alright. There's a fucking door down here, big ass padlock on it. The padlock came undone. Equip that. I'm not going in there not strapped up. <gasps> Damn it. Fucking shoot his ass. Come on. It's okay now. I've got Scissor Man cornered. Wait here. <sighs> well, Jennifer's alive, that's good. Let's fucking kill Scissor Man already, shall we? Fuck. Professor Barton. Why? How could you? Alan, I told you when you first joined my seminar. There's always a danger of turning toward evil. When you are researching criminal behavior. Always remember that danger. What are you saying? It, it's ironic, isn't it? That I was drawn in by his evil soul. Help. 
Helen, do you believe that you really have the strength to keep it from happening to you? Can you really deny that you are involved in this case because you wanted to be involved? Maybe you too are attracted by the vast darkness. I... I'm not like you. Uh, uh. Oh, fuck. All right, Teach. She's okay. And the case is solved. It is not over yet. Helen? The professor said he was drawn in by his evil soul. His. In other words, the real Scissor Man is still alive. It's not over until he is dead. Gods, please stay with Jennifer. What about you? I'm going to take another look around. I'm going to find the real Scissor Man. I see. Be careful. Helen. I'll be all right. All right. Well, Professor Barton looks like he's just fronting for the real scissor man. So here we are still. All right. So in here is a box. We use the cosmetic key on. Let's see what it's all about. It came open. A piece of paper is inside. This, this is a sketch of the mansion. A passage is drawn under the fountain. You now have the map. Now, the fountain is in the middle of the courtyard. Let's see if I remember how to get there. Alright, so now that we know the real scissor man's still alive, we need to exercise him. It ain't gonna be as easy as putting a bolt in his ass, so pistol's useless. Alright. I believe this is the courtyard. Alright, let's see. Let's click on this. There's a drain valve on the ground. If the map is right, there should be a passage underneath the fountain. Let's hope. I'd be a little reluctant to be climbing up in there myself, but do what we gotta do to kill Scissor Man. The drain opens and the water disappears. Alright, going in. I have no idea. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh, fuck. 
I'll see the statue. That voice. I didn't think you'd get this far, Helen. Edward? That is Edward's voice? You... You're the murderer? <laughs> Let's play, Helen. Run, bitch. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Okay, ain't looking so good over there, so it's up to us. Uh, there's a hole about 30 centimeters wide. Okay. Gun, 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 gun. Guns. Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, fuck, don't hit me, man. Like we made it. No reason to get upset, is there, Teach? I don't think we can make it. I am certain Jennifer is still alive. Hey, someone's there. Jennifer? Helen? Jennifer, you're alive! Helen! Oh. Helen! Hell yeah, Jennifer's alive.
that's a good shot of Scissor Man right there. That'd be the two seconds before your ass is dead shot. There you have it, folks. Helen's ending. Ending rank A, Survivor 7. Uh, so, now, Gods did say that there was 10 people going, so I'd imagine you got to figure for Edward being dead. Uh, got to figure for Professor Barton being dead. Don't know who the other one is, though, right now. Fuck yeah, we did it, folks. We finally beat Clock Tower once. Uh, that would be Helen's scenario. Got the best ending. Everybody survived that needed to. And I did finally find out that it was K that's dead. So that's K, that's Professor Barton, that's Edward III. So everybody got out alive. So I was mentioning during the video, it is extremely important to kind of blast through, uh, make sure that you get everybody first before you do your exploring. Um, certain ones that don't matter for Helen happen to be Nolan. Uh, you can find him at any time. And then also Jennifer. Uh, everybody else kind of has a time limit on them, so I'd recommend getting them first in order to get the best ending. Um, uh, if you want to check it out later uh, and see how they die, that's interesting uh, in itself, and I'm going to be actually making a video on that in the future. Um, once again, this is Lumps the Clown. We played Clock Tower, PlayStation 1, got the best ending by Human Entertainment. Lumps the Clown, out.